I would go in front of the camera today because they wanted me to show you this cute little hat that they picked out for me to wear today at school. If For those of you who don't know, I work at a school cafeteria and if anybody knows me there, they could tell you that I decorate for every single holiday and I like to be festive just to make it fun for the kids. So the kids thought that this would be a perfect hat for me to wear in the cafeteria today and also for all of you for my video. This is my favorite part. Isn't this the cutest thing ever, my little princess crown? Because in the inside of the hat, there's a little button you could turn on and it controls the light. So obviously I won't have it on all day. Um, so anyways, we are going to be doing a cute little St. Patrick's Day uh, treat for you. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, let's go ahead and get started. If any of you have been following, following my blog, I'm not sure if you remember this cute little lollipop holder I had made for Valentine's Day. Well, we're actually going to make something similar, but of course it's going to be a St. Patrick's Day version of it. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how I made that. So I kind of have everything set up on my mat here already. I went ahead and got a rectangle and I got that from the George cartridge. And I got my cute little shamrocks here from the paper doll uh, cartridge. Just the regular paper doll, not the everyday paper doll. Um, so what I did is I went ahead and got my rectangle. Let me go ahead and click on that so I could get the size for you. My rectangle, the size is, the height is 5.5 inches tall, and the width is 2.22 inches wide. And my little shamrocks, they are sizing, their height is just 2.37. So what you want to do, we're going to go ahead and take this little shamrock, and we're just going to, like, scooch it over. So let's go ahead and move it over here. We're going to do some welding today. So there we go. As long as it looks like it's lined up, then we're good. Now this shamrock down here, what we need to do, we need to use a flip feature for this. For example, this one right here. So when we folded it up, we have to make sure it's still the same at the top. Okay, so what we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and flip that. And then we're going to scooch that over also. And let's see, it doesn't look even. There we go. Okay, so now what we're going to do, we're going to click on it and make sure that they're all in the gray square. And then we're going to go ahead and we're going to weld it together. So we're going to click on that little combination lock, which I call the welding feature. Um, we're going to go ahead and weld it. And then we're going to go ahead and click on our eyeball and make sure it matches, make sure it is welded. So let's go ahead and zoom that in so we can make sure. And oh, it welded perfectly. You see how um, it's all red. That's what's going to cut out. And then you see the gray parts right there. That's welded. So it's actually going to come out perfect. Okay, now that we got the base of our lollipop made already, what we're going to do is I like to put a layer on top of the front of it. Um, so we're going to go ahead and use our copy feature here. We're going to go ahead and Let's go to advance. We're going to click on our little shamrock and then we're going to click on the copy over right there. So what we're going to do, we're not going to use this bottom shamrock since I only I like to ration my my um, pattern paper. So I don't want to make the whole thing into cut the whole thing on a piece of pattern paper. It's only going to be the front of my lollipop holder. So we're going to go ahead and get rid of that shamrock at the bottom and the let me show this to you so you can know what I'm talking about. Like the base of it right here, like see how the pattern paper is? Like from here, I believe from here to here, of uh, the square part is two inches. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to get this little square part here, and I'm going to go ahead and click unlink. Remember that little cool feature I taught you the other day? We're going to unlink this, and we're going to change the height to two inches. Okay, so this is going to be it, right? So we're just going to move this on up here. Let me make sure. Oopsie. Okay, we're going to move that up there, and then we're going to go ahead, and we're going to make sure this is welded together also, because we have to make sure when we put our lollipop um, holder together, 
this has got to go perfectly on top of that so when we layer it it's got to look good so let's go ahead and get that um, let me go back to advance make sure it's welded and we're going to click on our eyeball to make sure it is and it is it's welded perfectly right there okay now for our I'm going to do another piece of pattern paper but a different style for the shamrock only so we're going to do a copy feature and move that shamrock over so I this is cut into three pieces we got our base our pattern paper layer and our another pattern paper layer for the shamrock only because I don't want it to be flush because it wouldn't look right so those are the three pieces we have there and I went ahead and I cut everything out so let's go ahead and get started okay here we go we have all of our uh, layers cut this cute little layer is going to be for the shamrock and I actually already did my little white stitching around that this is going to go for the front of the lollipop and here goes our base of it and I went ahead and scored it so if you measure from here to here that's two inches you're going to go score it two inches and same thing on the opposite side so we're going to go ahead and use that and I had kind of prepared everything already I have the little button already that I used my little button is from paper tray ink and I got some I think it's like embroidery thread but I don't know if it is or not because it is a little bit thinner so anyways what I did I just kind of threaded it through the the little bit the button and I made a cute little bow and these are all the um, the buttons that you get from paper tray you get a ton in one of those little bags and I love them those are my favorite so anyways let's go ahead and put this together I'm just using my little ducky a uh, little glue glider here. It's not a glue glider. I just made that up. But anyways, we're going to go ahead and use this um, to get it on to the front of our lollipop holder. And, oh, wrong side. Let's go ahead and switch it over here. And let's just glue. See how perfect that is? Oh, perfect. Okay. That's it for that. There, this is going to be really simple, actually. And we're going to go ahead and get our little um, our little button, and we're going to go ahead and use a glue dot for it. Put it on with a glue dot. I always use glue dots for my buttons. For me, that works the best, and they never they don't go anywhere. They don't come off. So, we're oh wait a minute. Actually, you know what? The button goes on here. Button's going to go on the center of that. And what we're going to do is we're going to use some dimensionals. This paper, by the way, let me just give you a quick view of this. This is from the Mini Deck um, Garden Variety with Cosmo Cricut. This is the cutest paper. I'm so happy they, they came out with the little smaller 6x6 pads. It works really well for like your small items like this. Okay, we're going to go ahead and put some dimensionals on the back of this. And then this is going to go on. Well, actually, you know what? Before we put this on, let's go ahead and get our lollipop in here first. Because we're going to use this cute little quarter-inch staple. This is from Tim Holtz. Um, I love this thing. It's so cute because when it staples, the staples are so tiny. So what we're going to do is put our lollipop in there first. Usually, like with the Valentine Day one, what I did was I welded in some circles on the actual heart so there were holes so what I do is I just ran a ribbon through it but this one since it's a little bit thinner I didn't want to do that to this one because I figure this one what we could do is just staple it in the pattern paper will cover it up so what we're gonna do is hold on let me make sure that's even we're gonna go ahead and put a staple on this side and one over here I want to make sure it's even okay and then one on this end isn't that cute and it stands up perfectly there and then now what we're going to do then now we're going to go ahead and put our little shamrock on it isn't this the cutest thing ever so anyways this is my little St. Patty's Day project for everybody out there today I hope everybody has a wonderful day. Don't forget to wear your green. And I will see you back here soon. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.